Hey guys, welcome back for uh, another video. Today we're going to talk a bit about um, the BRP reversible tunnel mount ice scratchers. Um, not going to be an installation video. Obviously they're already mounted on the sled. Uh, just going to be a quick one year review on them and my opinion. Um, and that is, they are probably the best ice scratcher on the market that I've ever used. Um, I've used all different types of ice scratchers and these ones just work. Simple to install. Um, I can sit on my sled and deploy them and also put them back up in the hangar uh, without getting off the sled. Um, yeah, the, uh, the, the tips, they wear very nice. Um, obviously if you're gonna do a long road run, uh, you should probably put them up. Uh, otherwise you'll just burn right through them. But, uh, that's the nice thing about them. You can sit on your sled and, uh, I can anyways and put them back up if I know there's a long road run ahead and uh, just reach back and uh, deploy them once you get back on the trail not a big deal and uh, yeah great scratcher whereas you know the cables you gotta you gotta drill into your rails like I've done there which I don't like drilling into my sled at all sometimes sometimes you got to um, but yeah, the cable scratchers, they just, they, uh, they don't work as well. The carbide tips end up burning off and turning even with Loctite and lock washers. Um, they just don't work. And then the cables start fraying over time. That's my experience with them, but, uh, nothing but, uh, good things to say about these BRP scratchers. Uh, very simple installation too. I had to get a longer bolt as the one that came with the BRP kit wasn't long enough. I think this one's three inches long. Anyways, you'll have to go to the hardware store to match up the thread size. And uh, yeah, just take a quick measurement from here back to here. I believe it's three inches if I remember right, but uh, the only other thing uh, I'm going to do in the future when I get time is these spacers here, these aluminum spacers. You can see I've got to, uh, a black zip tie in here, and that's to keep this spring from moving, sliding from side to side. Uh, that zip tie just, yeah, it helps uh, with the sloppiness. So what I'm going to do when I get time is... Take these off and just uh, maybe shave off an uh, eighth of an inch or so, three sixteenths, and that'll bring these two uh, aluminum spacers closer together, and then I can do away with the zip tie. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, excellent eye scratcher. Um, they just, they work. Haven't had a problem with them. And yeah, reversible. So, there you have it. If you're looking for an ice scratcher for your Yamaha Viper, this is the way to go. Um, you will not be disappointed with them. And uh, yeah, that's, that's my opinion. Um, oh, and no, no drilling. Um... Actually, I can't remember if that hole for the end of this spring was in that bracket there. Or if I had to drill that out. I can't remember exactly. It might have been something like one of these holes, existing holes. Um, anyways, if you got to drill one tiny hole, not a big deal at all. Um... But yeah, uh, check.
check them out if you're in the market for some ice scratchers. Uh, they do the job. They keep your engine cool right at operating temperature. Keeps things lubed up and uh, it'll keep you going. Um, anyways, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell for more videos. And uh, appreciate you watching. Take care for now.